Now this is pretty cool. Two big rigs parking right now. That's my home for the next couple of days. Our rig. And then that's our friend's rig. I think this is so cool. <laughs> You guys ever wonder what it's like uh, owning a toy hauler RV travel trailer? Um, I'm gonna show you what you gotta do, all the different things that you have to do. It's part of your ownership, the joys of owning an RV. So first things first, you always gotta make sure that uh, that fifth wheel hitch is working properly. Pretty much the most important thing, the first thing. Um, second, obviously have a truck with good tires and fueled up, ready to go. And the next thing we gotta do is check the tire pressure on the trailer. So now that you uh, patiently waited for your air compressor to fill up, before you take off, you gotta check the pressure. And you gotta do this four times. Now I gotta wait for the compressor again. But I'm gonna get the rest of this, and then we'll get back and I'll tell you what's the next thing we gotta do. Now that we got the tires checked, it's time to wash this big old bad boy. About an hour and a half, two hour job. So, on to the next thing. Next is we have got to put the motorcycle wheel chalk, which I have no idea where it's at. Here it is. This is what I use to hold my road glide up with. Now I want to show you 
all that I have to do to get this rig ready for the road. But um, we'll catch up on the next little step, all right? All right, here's something else that we gotta do too. Putting a bunch of lumber in the back, so we're gonna be burning some wood. This whole daylight saving thing sucks. I filled up the black tank really quick with a little bit of fresh water. Dump a couple of drops of soap in it. And as we're driving, you know, that, uh, that'll help kind of rinse out a little bit. We got a little groceries too into the RV. We'll load that and then uh, come back to the next thing. You even got to refill your soap before you get into the RV. And, and we don't care what kind of soap we use. We don't care what color it is. We don't as care. As long as it's soap. And so, like, if you have big gallons, so I just grab mason jars and fill it up with my milk. It's always something. So, if, if I still haven't discouraged you of buying an RV, continue watching. another wagon full of stuff that's got to go in so you just saw the stuff that we took earlier more stuff plus this on the counter plus this on the counter and then we'll probably have another basket of just anything yeah. cable clothes oh shoes yeah oh now, now we have to do clothes after this and we're only going to be gone for two nights <gasps> just kidding <laughs> anyways back at it and this just helmets right here let's go get this gear up in the rv More stuff. That is a pile of clothes. But at the bottom are um, my beverages. But something else will go in there. Next thing is I'm gonna put this bike uh, inside that trailer. All right, y'all guys watch me do this. This is scary. That's uh, that's less scary than getting it down. Uh huh. If you have a toy hauler, one more thing to put in, right, Ruthie? Yeah. <laughs> so just bringing it in doesn't mean that that's it. <laughs> you got to strap it down too. But thank you, Ruthie, for spotting me. Of course. Always much appreciated. Yes, sir. Because, uh, like I said earlier, if it falls on top of me, I just need somebody to go get somebody <laughs> to help <laughs> it get it off of me. <laughs> When we first bought this rig, it was a lot taller than the last rig. So getting this bike up, the pipes would have hit the concrete. I was trying to figure out all kinds of ways to how to lessen the angle of that ramp. And I came up with getting some ramps. And that's two ramps doubled up side by side, bolted together. But before that, it was only one. And trying to get off of it at the RV park was... That was scary, man, because uh, I was gonna fall off the ramp. <laughs> and I don't mind showing my mistakes. I really don't. Just learn from them. Because you learn from them. As long as you learn from them. It was, uh, it was something interesting that I did read the other day. Um, it says that anytime you mess something up and you start over again, you're not starting from scratch, you're starting from experience. Boom! <laughs> That's very random. Alright, bike is loaded. Today is a uh, takeoff day. <laughs> My dog's going crazy because he thinks I'm about to leave him, but I'm not. So now we gotta hook up the truck and load a couple of bottles of propane. <laughs> I will see y'all 
in New Braunfels. That's where we're headed later. Bye. Oh, yeah, that's my buddy Slade. And Rick. Yeah. I got you. Wave over when y'all get a chance. I got the GoPro going. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is pretty cool. Two big rigs parking right now. That's my home for the next couple of days. Our rig. And then that's our friend's rig. I think this is so cool. This is their first time over here. That is their big country with their, I forget if it's a 350 or 250. And then our torque with our 350. So, one more thing to do. We gotta get finished setting this whole thing up and then we're good. And then that's uh, day one. So that's a, that was the difference between what I got now, which I think me and Ruthie have already talked about adding more. Yep. Just, just because. It's because your feet hang when you're coming off. Yeah, well, I'm short. So that's my problem. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. And uh, I can't fix short, but I can fix that <laughs> down there. 